Although it's mighty messy, here's a quick look around the Aprilia. You can see these two blocks of green cells here are the life bats, 10 amp hours and 80 volts, or 72 volts whilst running, for those two blocks there. Underneath, there's another 72 volt pack, and another at the front, each providing 10 amp hours. The one at the front is actually comprised of A123 cells, being slightly nippier um, than their life bats. Um, here's the front of the motor, or the motor plate, which is dri driving straight through to the back with no gearbox. A lot of cleaning yet to do, you can see the aluminium's a bit tatty. Uh, I've polished some of it up, but there's a lot still to do. Um, over the top here, you can see the controller nestled down there. Um, I'm just trying out a Kelly controller, this is a 500 amp version, I uh, hope it won't be too much for the poor little motor, um, which is a PERM 132 motor. Um, you can see a bit more of it down there. And there's the back plate. Still waiting for the controller to be connected to it. Um, not sure what else there is to see there. There's a lot of scruffy wiring at the moment, but that's gradually being uh, sorted out bit by bit. Eventually, I'll, uh, I'll stick another box down, just down there, which will take the batteries. Um, there's the contactor, which is responsible for a big part of the bird's nest. Still not connected to the bike. This will disconnect the power in the event of any problems whilst riding. Is operated by the kill switch or the key switch. Um, looking from the front up here, you can see there's a clear view through to the motor for ventilation. That's 80 miles an hour. I imagine the wind blows up there a tree. Um, there's, please excuse the mess, but there's another batch of cells here on the bench. These slot in on top of the um, on top of the controller and that white holy block there um, and the mounted underneath the tank. Um, this is the charging unit which bolts on above this pack just like this and again sits underneath the tank filling up most of the rest of the space just leaving enough space for this bag which has got a mighty great big long lead in it so that I don't get charged up anywhere I want to. Um, you can see the place is the right state I've had the bike in bits for days now and it's not looking pretty. Um, this is the reason the bike's in bits. Um, it's been sprayed and just been really lacquered. I just put the final coat on it now. It's only waiting for the stickers and the last rub down and buff. Uh, there's the petrol tank over here sitting on this poor bike. Looking very, very shiny now. Much better than before. There's the fairing and the tailpiece. Um, and the mud guard sitting over here on the back of a trike. It actually looks quite stylish, I might fit one there permanently. Um, so, that's about it. I'll take some more videos later on, which will go online, of the bike in action. It should really pull some, uh, um, pull some power now with a 500 amp controller up from a 300 amp controller. Um, so, that's it for now.